Hey everyone, these are the chapter seven questions for the boy in the striped pajamas. I'm gonna break this into two because we have a lot of questions for this chapter. So these will be the first, uh, the first half of the questions. Number one, describe the only person that Bruno knows to be mad. This man's name is Hair Roller. Uh, they describe him starting on page 67. Uh, Bruno talks about him being out in the street and having arguments with himself. Uh, he uh, punches at his own shadow. He falls down on the ground. He yells. He cries. He's not. Uh, he's, not very, he's not well. Um, but Bruno's mother explains over on page 68 that he used to actually be a really nice man. She knew him when he was uh, younger, and uh, he. It says that he suffered a terrible injury during the Great War. When they talk about the Great War, that's going to be World War One. Uh, an injury to his head, and that's the way he behaves now. So he acts mad, he acts crazy because he uh, had a head injury from the war. Number two, what does Bruno do to entertain himself? Uh, on page 70, he builds a tire swing out in front of the house. Um, you'll notice, just something to note here, uh, the word tire is spelled T-Y-R-E. That's a British spelling. John Boyne, the author, is an Irish, uh, Irish author, so some of the words may be spelled a little bit differently, but that word is tire, the same as our T-I-R-E. Question three, what is Bruno's opinion of Lieutenant Kotler? Uh, he doesn't like him, right? I'm looking at page, uh, page 71. Bruno wasn't entirely sure why, but he knew that he didn't like Lieutenant Kotler. There was an atmosphere around him that made Bruno feel very cold and want to put a jumper on. Jumper is another uh, British word for a, for a sweater. Uh, so he's not exactly sure why, but he just kind of gives him, gives him a bad feeling. Number four, how does Gretel act around Lieutenant Kotler? She flirts with him, right? This is uh, on page 72. Everything that he says is very funny. She's always laughing. She's twirling her hair. She's kind of acting silly and giggly. So, uh, so she has maybe a little bit of a crush on him. She, uh, she flirts with him. Number five, how does Lieutenant Kotler, t uh, Lieutenant Kotler treat Bruno? Uh, he treats him like a little kid. On page 72, he uh, kind of reaches out and tussles his hair. You know how you do that like with little kids? You like ruffle, rustle, their, rustle their hair. Um, Bruno is asking him for a tire, right, to make his tire swing. And uh, instead of answering him, Lieutenant Kyler just makes jokes, right, uh, or jokes that Bruno doesn't understand. When he asks him for a tire, he says, the only spare tire I've seen around here belongs to Sergeant Hofschneider, right? Like spare tire meaning like he's fat. He's got like fat around his, his stomach. So, and Bruno doesn't get it, right? He's, he's, he's too young to really understand the joke. So he kind of talks down to him. We say he condescends to, uh, to Bruno, treats him like a little kid. Question seven, how does Lieutenant Kotler treat Pavel? We'll see that Pavel is someone who comes and works in the kitchen and he's a waiter in uh, Bruno's family's house. Not well, right? He, um, he, he yells at him, he's very rude to him. On page 76, it says, Kotler spoke to him insol insolently, despite the fact that he was young enough to be his grandson. Insolent means rude or arrogant. So uh, he, even though he's, he's young, we know that uh, Kotler is actually only a teenager. Uh, he, he talks to this old man in a very insolent, very rude way. And he actually uses it, they don't say what it is, but he uses a, a bad word to describe uh, Pavel. Uh, page 75, hey you, he shouted, then, added, then adding a word that Bruno did not understand. Come over here, you, dash. He said the word again. And something about the harsh sound of it made Bruno look away and feel ashamed to be a part of this at all. Um, we can figure, we can uh, infer from this that Pavel is Jewish. That is why he is the one who is sort of working in their house, almost as like a slave, if you want to think of it that way. And whatever this word that he's using to, to uh, refer to Pavel is going to be a slur against Jewish people. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to say what they are. You can look them up. There's more than more than one. Um, but we can we can imply here that um, Pavel is Jewish and that Kahler is using very nasty words to, uh, to, to describe him, to talk to him. And that's also the answer to question number eight. How does this make Bruno feel? It makes him feel uncomfortable. It makes him feel embarrassed. Uh, he says that Pavel has always been a very good waiter. So he doesn't, he's not quite sure why he's yelling at him in this way, but he knows that it's not good and it makes him feel very uncomfortable. 